Excellent run through today. I, I thought the players were really locked in. Uh, we got a lot of work done here. We're out here for about a, an hour and 20 minutes. And now, uh, now we get ready to put the pads back on tomorrow and get back to practice. Questions? You know, it wasn't a full practice, but we could ask you the Leonte update. Yeah, Leonte was out here today. He did some stuff. He did more than yesterday, and he's moving in the right direction. You know what that means for Saturday? I, I don't really know. We'll put out a report tomorrow, uh, but I, it's probably going to be a game time decision. Kyle, did, will you do anything? You know, show them a mo like an inspirational movie or anything. You know what I'm trying to say. Do anything sure. of that of that nature to build the atmosphere. Uh, we have a routine that we go through. Uh, we have a speaker every uh, every Friday night or night before the game uh, in the hotel. Uh, John Mauer does a great job of, of, of getting those speakers for us. Gary Brackett was our speaker last year. I thought, I mean, last week, I thought his message was was really, really excellent. Um, and we'll do the same thing this week. So, yeah, we're going to have a speaker, and, and, and we'll just continue through our routine. Uh, that's the most important thing. You know, all of these game weeks are like a season, and you'll want there to be routine so that the players know what to expect and they can prepare themselves accordingly. We talked sorry. about them. There's a lot of stuff on social media and stuff, getting your seats early. It's going to be a, a special night. What, what can you say about that, about, one, the importance of being early and anything that you have planned? Yeah, it's, it's exciting that it's a sellout. You know, the, the importance of being there early, I, I think it energizes. It energizes the stadium, which is ultimately energizes the football team. I know it, there's no question. It, it raises the emotional level of our players when they're out there on warm-ups. And the student section here has done such a great job of becoming a force within the games. You know, when the game starts, we want them to be in there. We want them to be warmed up, too. I guess there's a new team introduction, the Knights Pulse or whatnot that I heard about that they said uh, football's excited about. What do you, what can you tell us about that? Yeah, I believe the Night Pulse has already gone off in the uh, in the stadium in, in the, during our last home game, and it got a uh, it got an excellent reception. Uh, it's, it's something we had a little fun with with our players, and uh, something we try to use just to, to make sure we are uh, we're we're riling up the crowd a little bit. Um, I think it'll be good. I know it's out there on social media now. I know the players enjoyed participating in it. It sounds like the fans have gotten into it, too. So if the fans like it, we'll continue to do it. There are a lot of Matthew McConaughey fans in the Hale Center or something? Hey, there very well could be. They're very well. I know Matthew's a, a big football fan. I think he's a Texas fan. But maybe, uh, hey, let me just I'll put it out there right now. If Matthew wants to come to the game, I'll take care of him. <laughs> <laughs> we talked, uh, obviously, a lot about Bosa on the outside. But on third down, they've been moving him inside, right? Yeah, and, they do. And what does that pose? Yeah, they move him everywhere. You know, they, they do you know, all, the, all the great pass rush. I remember being a, a really young guy and watching the, the 86 Bears and Richard Dent and he, he would line up everywhere on third down and that's kind of what they do with, with Joey Bosa and it means that everybody better be ready to match up and and whatever you have within your system to try to help on, on a great player like he is, you got to be ready to make adjustments within the game because they're, they're going to try and exploit whatever whatever matchups they think they can exploit. Obviously he gets a lot of the attention but what is it about the rest of their defense that stands out to you? Yeah, there's no weak link on their defensive front. They're, they're, they're really talented. Adolphus is going to be another NFL type player. Uh, as a defensive lineman, they've got some younger guys who are really talented who come in and play. So, you know, I know they're starting nose guards out, but they, they've got more than enough depth that uh, I, you know, they'll, they're going to put more good players on the field. So they've got some guys at the end of their career that are spectacular players and some young guys that are going to be really good too. How did Jarius look in practice this week? Good. Jarius had a good week. Yeah, I, like, uh, I like how he's prepared. I, I like how mentally he's locked in. And now he's got to go out there Saturday and – take take the, the corrections from last week and, and be a better player because that's all we want. We just want them to keep, keep improving as the season goes on. Okay, a recruiting question. This time of year is when kids start looking at early enrollment and you know the financial papers that they sign early, stuff like that. Do, do you work on that as a staff to with your recruiting class? We do. We do. We can't comment on it right now, but I think we're going to have some early enrollees and, and uh, we're going to have a couple guys that will sign some Big Ten tenders. Um, yeah, as we get going here in a couple weeks, but uh, we're still a little, little bit, a little bit away from that. Those guys being approved. What's the biggest difference when you bring a, a running quarterback into the equation, just defensively? Well, it's it's a little bit like option football. It's one more guy you got to account for, and, and now, and not to speak too technically, but now what you get is you get one back sets and two back runs. So your fits are a little bit different. So you got to do things to make sure that all the gaps are accounted for.